today I am rescuing this Mercedes camper. As you can see there, all of that is completely gone, so that's all going to need to be done. Yeah, it's rotten where the um, skylight's been leaking. Yeah, the so leaks it. have been leaking for a while. <laughs> it's certainly got my work cut out. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. Now, you might notice I'm actually sat in my Mark 1 Golf convertible. Yes, I have still got it, it's still here. Now, I have actually got quite a few car projects, plus vans as well. I have this, I have a classic Mini, I have a Volkswagen LT35, which I'm in the process of converting into a camper. I have a few other bits, the BMW, and I've also bought a new project. Now, if you were watching one of my previous videos, you would have seen a Mercedes motorhome, a 308D. Now, at the time, I said, I really like this thing. I've always liked these. I've always wanted one. And guess what? I've bought it. Yes. <laughs> now, today, I'm going to be jumping in the car. My dad, he's going to give me a lift up there, and we're going to be driving this thing back, and we're going to be doing a full restoration on it. Now, I know it's got a lot of rust on it, inside is rotten it needs all the units taken out refitted it's going to be a big job but i'm going to be documenting everything now i have been filming stuff like i said in the background and there is a very good reason why you haven't seen any of that yet so stay tuned for that little surprise so let's go and get this thing and see how bad it really is i promise i haven't forgotten about you that little justy there so the camper van is just up here a little bit as you remember from last time and there she is <laughs> I can't believe I've actually bought this it's crazy absolutely crazy Oh, it is open, which is handy. So, you guys never got to see this last time. I'll just take you on a little tour quickly. As you can see, it's a bit of a mess. It's going to need a fair bit of work doing. <laughs> I mean, a lot of work doing. Um, the bit that scares me the most is the roof here. And you can see all the wood is completely ro yeah, it's rotten, where the um, skylight's been leaking. So we're going to have to change all this ceiling here, find out where the leak's coming from. Um, all the panelling's going to have to come off. Probably going to redo that with some sort of cladding or something. Um, yeah, as you can tell, you know, the leaks have been leaking for a while. <laughs> but having said that, I've always, always, always loved this shape camper. I've always liked these Mercedes and I've always wanted one. And now this is mine so certainly got my work cut out we've got the little bed just at the top here oh, this is quite cool i think this is all watertight in this end this is all pretty good so that's good that's peace of mind um now we have got quite a lot of rust on the outside which i'm not looking forward to doing if i'm honest I know it's had quite a bit done under here. As you can see, it's not the tidiest of repairs, but we can make that better. Overall, generally, it's quite good. We've got a few cosmetic bits that need doing around the front. Windscreen, again, it's not too bad. I've seen a lot worse before, hell of a lot worse. Got a bit more around here. And this is probably the worst side. This actually hasn't been done. As you can see there, all of that is completely gone. So that's all going to need to be done. 
a little bit of scabs on the door again nothing major we go around to the back again it's not too bad around here I've had a little climb around underneath had a look around and it's not too bad the advisories on the MOT were um, camper rusty underneath which for its age you'd expect that so yeah this is the other bit that scares me is um that so this is all going to have to come out and reseal all that make it all watertight again but the first thing it's going to need is a clean it hasn't been cleaned for a very very long time right go and grab the keys off the owner do all the paperwork and then we'll get this thing started up so we're just filling out the paperwork at the moment and uh just wanted to show you guys the mileage on this 96,459 which is quite low for this to be honest I was half expecting it to be quite a lot more than that so um that's really good to know that the mileage isn't terrible it's under 100,000 considering the age of it it's um exceptionally good for its year so um yeah we're just going to finish doing this do the bank transfer and um fire this old girl up and see what she drives like <laughs> god I can't even select the gear, look, that's not a good start, is it? <laughs> oh, it's got a dog leg box. First gear's back here. There you go, first gear. Second, third, fourth, and fifth. Good luck finding reverse. <laughs> I think this is going to be quite entertaining to drive, that's for sure. Okay, so. This is the moment of truth. <laughs> is it going to start? I'm sure it will. Right, keys in the ignition. Clutch works, which is handy. Ignition on. Engine start. And that didn't work. Oh, there we go. Turn it on properly. Right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, I didn't think it was going to go then. <laughs> Don't think my dad did either. <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> right, okay, so we've got a couple of lights on. We've got a battery light on and we've got the handbrake light on. Let's just make sure that handbrake light goes off when I release the handbrake. No, it doesn't. Okay, that's a bit of a pain in the bum. Battery light's concerning. Oh, there we go. Little rev and they both go off. Okay, well, I think it's... um. Good to go. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm absolutely terrified, but can't stay here any longer. Decided to save it, so um, let's start the journey. Okay, so <laughs> I'm absolutely crapping myself, I really am. Oh God, there's nothing worse than buying an old car, or an old van, or anything like that. You've never driven it before. Oh God. I think that's first gear. So we got movement. Make sure the road's clear. Jesus Christ, it's like driving a bloody tank. Oh my God, the steering is so heavy. Right, hang on. We have movement. We're on the road. And it's ooh, driving. Oh, that's fifth. Hang on. That's, that's second. Here we go. Oh, can you turbo whistle? It's got a turbo! <laughs> it's got a turbo! I didn't even know it had a turbo! Yes! <laughs> Actually. It is driving quite nice at the moment. It's, it's actually driving really nice. Oh my God, it's, I'm really surprised. I am really surprised. Wow. Doesn't feel like it's been parked up for as long as it has. Obviously it was MOT'd recently. Um, I think that was about three weeks ago. So they had to drive it to the MOT station. But apart from that, it's, um, it's all right, I'm not quite pleased. Oh God. 
listen to that turbo. <laughs> yes. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, so the plan with this, we're going to get it back to my dad's place. We're going to give it a clean because it needs a clean. We're going to give it a service. We're going to give it all the good stuff it needs. And then we're going to absolutely transform the back of it because it's very dated inside. Very dated. It needs a new lease of life. And we're going to do that. And I'm going to use this van. This is going to be a, a, a little like a, a road trip thing. So I have got a Volkswagen LT35. I've been building that for about a year. And it still needs so much doing to it. So I decided to buy this and use this now. It's got an MOT on it, it works. I'm just gonna use it, you know, it's what it was made for. And I felt bad. When I filmed it, the first time I went to that place, I saw it there, I instantly fell in love with it. I, I love these campers, I've always, always wanted one. And I thought to myself, do you know what? I need that. Oh my God, I can't find the gears. Fifth, fourth, there we go. Third. Yeah, the, the gear linkage might need a little bit of WD-40. Just a little bit. <laughs> but no, actually, having said that, like I said, it, it actually drives quite nice and I'm, I'm really surprised. So I'm super pleased with it and I cannot wait to get it back and get the work started on this. It's going to be good. I'm actually having to drive in the middle of the road because this thing's so damn big, I don't want to catch it on any trees or um, any cyclists that might be coming up. And I've had to try and mount the phone with the phone holder in a very awkward place. So. It may fall off at any minute, just to let you guys know that in case it falls on the floor. Okay, so I'm on the first fastest road now, 50 mile an hour speed limit, and I think I'm just about doing 40, so uh, <laughs> into fifth, and I think we're gonna touch 50. We're gonna touch 50, it's 50 miles, yeah, it's happened, we have hit. 50 miles an hour and I dare go any faster than that at the moment I'm still a bit crazily scared so yeah that's me today causing that massive tail back because <laughs> I'm in the slowest camper van in the United Kingdom at the moment but you know what I don't care because I love it okay oh, I'll tell you what it's gonna be good driving it around in the winter very hot Right, which one is it? Not that one. Not that one. Ah, there we go. Oh. Right. How much do I put in? <laughs> I reckon 30 quid. I reckon 30 quid would be enough. But that is absolutely disgusting. Jesus. Right, onwards and upwards. Time to get in the world's slowest motorhome. <laughs> but I don't care. Ugh. Let's hope it starts first time this time. It's quite scary that it does that. Right, let's go. That's always a bit concerning when you can see the road through the door while you're driving. There is actually a hole literally just about there. And that is the road outside. So um, yeah, that, that's terrifying actually that. Oh okay, now this is scary. I'm just about to join the A3, which is like a dual carriageway with a 70 mile an hour speed limit. And the van only does, well, what I've done so far is 50 miles an hour. Now my foot is hard down on the accelerator. We've got a slight hill to climb, 45 miles an hour. I am approaching, oh my God, this is terrifying. This is actually quite scary, and we're still doing 45 miles an hour, and the speedo just is not climbing. Even with that big turbo bolted on the side of the engine, this thing is slow. 50 miles an hour, 
my god. What's that taking? About a week? <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so we have finally made it home. It took a lot longer than what I thought, but oh, we're here. Oh god, we've got so much stuff to clear out. So I think the first thing to do is bag up all the stuff that we don't want. Like the kettles which are covered in cobwebs and I'm not even sure what that is, if that's even savable. Um, but what else have we got in here? Oh, look at this. Very nice. There's half a bottle in there. And I don't think that one hasn't even been opened. That's even better. <laughs> that's a nice little find. Now, I know we have got some really horrible stuff in here like this. Oh, it's all falling over. Yeah, that, ugh, that definitely needs to go in the bin. Um, all this stuff, don't need that. That can all go. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll go and grab a couple of carrier bags and uh, go through and see what we're going to keep and what we're going to chuck out. And to be honest with you, I think a lot of it is going to be thrown out. But there's a few bits we can save. Like this, for example, I don't even think that's been used. Look at that, it's actually sun dyed where it's been left on the dashboard for probably about three or four years. But I don't think that's even been used, look. It's still brand new. So that's good, that'll come in handy. Right, go get some bin bags and start clearing some of this muck out. So this is a good start. I can see floor space now, just about. Now I've got this massive awning here, which I think is part of this van, so I'll have to keep that. But I've got all these slats I need to hoover and sand and varnish or whatever I want to do with them. Looks like that needs sticking back up again. But look, there's even more stuff in there. There's a brand new barbecue there. No, there's not. I thought that was a barbecue, it's not, it's foil barbecue trays, they can go and recycle them because I'm not using those. I don't like using anything like that that's been bought, even though it doesn't look like it's been used, it just doesn't feel clean to me, if you know what I mean. There's so much stuff in here, so much stuff, the pile is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But it's all going in the bin. Every last bit of it. Even these. I just don't like it. You know, this is this is mine now, so anything like this, I will just go and buy new. I won't reuse any of that. Just because, like I said, it just feels dirty to me. Oh, there's a barbecue in there. Look at that. Oh, God. I do hope that's clean. I really do. Yes. Good to know. Very good to know. Oh, 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 no, no, don't want to break that. Leave that. <laughs> All right. Close that up, close that up. And then bag all of this up. I finally found what the beeping was. This was the cause of the beeping, which was driving me mad the whole way home. Good riddance. I'm not sure, but I think that might be a false widow. But I don't like spiders really, but... Are we not going back in there? No, you can go outside. You can definitely go outside, little mate. You know, you're not going in there either. Nope, come on. Come on. Right, don't bite me. Come on. God, I hate spiders. Especially when they don't do as what they're told. Right, you can go in there and live a happy life. 
Right guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Please go and check out the Instagram, which is the Beard Explorer underscore. And also go and check out the Facebook page. Like always, I'll put all the pictures on Facebook, tell the best on Instagram. Please don't forget to go and check out TikTok and stay tuned for the next video, which is going to be this camper's first wash in about five years time. And it is in desperate need, let me tell you. We'll see you on the next video.